Welcome back to GitHub with Git series and in this series you are going to learn about Git and GitHub with me Sarthak on this channel called Bitfume so if you are new consider subscribing for more advanced tutorials of Laravel, Vue and much more and don't forget to like Bitfumes on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. So let's get started and in this episode you are going to learn about branches in Git and let's get started. So Jarvis turn the page and here he is. So let's talk about some flashback that means how git works so git doesn't store the data as a structure of the series of changes or the differences but as we have known that instead it is stored as a series of snapshot and what the heck is snapshot yeah so snapshot is just how your projects look like at the time of commit so it just create all the information about every file not the file just have changes that just have modified or just has introduced but all the project okay that is very important and this is the power of git it store the snapshot of your project okay so whenever you commit then that commit will point to the snapshot of the previous system that means if you have made a commit then that commit will tell that hey I'm coming from that snapshot so uh, the changes in my commit is actually the modification of the previous snapshot okay so obviously when you make a commit then all these things are there author's name email and message you have typed okay so what is exactly branch so branch in a git is simply the file that contains 40 character sh a1 checksum to commit to point okay what this means simply branch which point towards a particular commit and which says that hey i am originating from that commit okay so let's move on and here it is how these things work so let's assume that you have a directory containing three files and you have staged and commit them then git stores these files not only these files but also some of more information about these files so these informations are two more things one is commit and second is tree file okay so what are all these things so now actually you have made changes in three file you have committed them now you have a five object in your repository so obviously three are simply the files which have changed okay but one is the tree file which have the information about these three files how they look how they have a structure what their name size etc etc and obviously the commit you have made which is having the size the author name the message and these things so you have a five object on your repository for a single commit okay okay so next thing is that if you have made a commit then that commit is having a snapshot obviously i have told you a snapshot then is that snapshot will point towards the previous commit so it's it says that i am originated from this commit okay and similarly this c1 the snapshot c is also originated from this snapshot b or the second commit okay so this back arrow represent i am coming from which commit okay so all these things now creating a system which is called a branch and a branch in a git is simply lightweighted movable pointer to one of these commits so you can see you have now two branch one is master one is version 1.0 for a particular commit that means now you have an option to move from this commit in two different way suppose you are on a road and you have two way in front of you one will take you to the multiplex for the movie and second will take you to your office so obviously there are two ways you can go so now you have two option one is going to master one is going to version one and on which branch you are moving determined by this head so head represent on which branch you are currently working so if you made at a particular point a commit then that commit will always add it to this master branch because your head is on the master branch okay 
So actually we can create a new branch by simply saying git branch testing or your branch name. So let's now go to terminal and see how all these things work. So I will go there and open terminal here. So I will simply say git status to see yeah working tree is clean. So I will say git branch and the branch name let's say branch name is bit fumes simply okay so we have created our branch but as you can see it says it only create branch it didn't switch to new branch so we have at a particular point two branches for a particular commit so the last commit we have made from there we have now two branches but how we will switch to the new branch so to keep this head on the new branch we have to do something else that means we have to now move this head from this master to this testing or our bitfumes branch so how we will do that thing so we have to run this command called git checkout testing so i will say firstly i will show you this thing so git log and you can see we have all these things and you can now get this thing you have a master branch and a bitfume branch but the head is on this master branch this is very important thing so you can see we have last commit this is new commit okay and now i will go to my new branch so i will say git checkout bitfumes so hit enter which says switched to branch bitfumes now we have switched to new branch so git log and you can see now the head is on bitfumes not on the master okay this is very cool part okay so now what i will do i will say git and let's make some changes in any file so let's change this file one more time and do git uh, I think we have created our alias so full commit and message is for bitfumes branch so hit enter and yeah we have created because we have created the alias of fc which includes the file adding and file committing with this message so we have created this so let's create so let's see git log and now you can see we have this for bitfumes branch head is here but now this is very important thing master branch is still on this is new commit this is cool part that means master is staying there but bitfumes is moved here so if someone is working on the master branch then there is no change on the master branch project you have created new branch you have made changes you have committed and you have the only changes in yourself so the master branch is stays untouched so this is very important so now what <laughs> so next thing is we have every new commit in this branch master branch stays as it is and and we have done all these things so let's move again and switching back to master uh, we will switch back to master so let's go and we have to simply say uh, where's that okay so now i will again say git check out master and here is very important thing so you can see we have switched to master branch and now i will say git uh, log and now you can see head is on the master and it says this is new commit and there is no branch called bitfumes that means it's not deleted it's not showing because master has stayed here again so let's do one thing i will say here this file file is for master okay i have saved okay so i will do git full commit 
and message uh, on master branch we have created now git log and we can see on master branch we have this and our index.php file home.php file will look like this that's great now let's do one thing check out to new branch so I will say this git uh, check out and we have bit fumes branch okay so git and let's do one thing let's open home branch and remember we have written there this file is for master branch but our file is now looks like this what's happening here you can see this file is actually reverted for the bitfumes branch so if I say this is for bitfumes branch and I will now do commit so git full commit oops I have to give the message here so bitfumes branch message okay and I will say git log and you can see bitfumes having this bitfumes branch message and for bitfumes branch the previous commit this is new commit all these things are there but let's see the important part git checkout master and I will open this file so now see the magic so here I have this file and if I now check out to master branch I will hit enter and when I go here boom you can see the actually file is reverted for branch it is changed as we have committed for the master branch so this is very interesting and the cool part awesome part whatever you can say but I like this thing very much so these things are the power of git so we have not touched anything for master branch we have created some new system for our bitfumes branch but master branch is stays untouched okay so you can play all these things and if you can go then you can type git log one line decorate graph all so let's try this command so git and log then it will say one line then it will say decorate decorate then graph then all and now you can see we have the actual system of this kind this the whole diagram you can see and this is simple so we have started with the master branch and master branch is like here and bitfuse branch is created on this part this commit is the commit where we have created the bitfuse branch and after this commit we have made two commit for bitfumes and only one commit for head and x for master and you can see we have head for the master that means we are working on the master branch so if I check out to bitfumes and do all these things decorate part once more you can see head is on the bitfumes that means now we will we are working on the bitfumes and if I go here message is now changed congratulations you have learned git in a just few minutes so we will meet in the next episode if you have any doubt feel free to message me and comment me and don't forget to like bitfumes on facebook twitter instagram and support me on patreon.com which is a crowdfunding website where you can donate one dollar or more as your wish then the most important thing subscribe to my bitfumes channel on youtube and like this video share this video with your friends so that everyone get the git okay so we'll meet in the next episode till then goodbye